Hey everybody, so I wanted to put this video out because I've been seeing a lot of stuff in the news lately about the bump fire stocks and new regulations that the Democrats and the liberals progressives in Congress want to start uh, talking about getting passed through Congress. So the um, the NRA put out a, a statement on bump fire stocks and their position on bump fire stocks are these are Obama regulations or Obama era Justice Department regulations that were put into place and put into effect and therefore the average law-abiding citizen uh, won't miss them. Um, they've only been around a few years, so therefore let's let the ATF scrutinize them a little bit more than um, they have in the past. Let's have a conversation. Let's have the dialogue. The problem with that thinking is, is that plays right into the liberals' hands. That plays right into Democrats' hands about how they want to just chip away at our Second Amendment rights every little piece they can. So. The ATF put out a letter saying that they're gonna, you know, they're gonna support uh, enhanced um, scrutiny of the bump fire stock. Um, initially, that came out today. Then this evening, I was watching the news, and now the ATF is uh, Wayne Lapierre is backpedaling a little bit on his position. Um, he's not saying that they're calling for a ban. They're not. He's saying he's not saying that. Um, that they want to confiscate them or they should make them illegal. Uh, he's simply stating now that they should just be subjected to further scrutiny by the ATF. So what does that mean? That's, that's him backpedaling. Uh, I think social media went off on him today and the NRA in general. Um, I think he's got the message that that's not acceptable and he's backpedaling a little bit. So moving forward, um, you know, so bump fire stocks, I think by now uh, everybody's pretty much aware of what a bump fire stock is. Um, you know, the, it's been running on the 24-hour uh, news cycles now for uh, probably the better part of two days uh, explaining to people what a bump fire stock is. Now, should we make bump fire stocks illegal? No. Why shouldn't we make bump fire stocks illegal? We shouldn't make them illegal because what you're doing with a bump, bump fire stock is simply using the gun's own inertia to have it fire. So the only way to truly regulate, the only way to really get at the heart of this law or this uh, regulation that the liberals want to pass as a law is to fully ban how you use the weapon that you're using. Now, that goes into telling somebody or legislating how you use a device. I mean, I don't know if they can do that. I'm not a lawyer. Um, I don't pretend to be one. But to me, that sounds like it's um, definitely pushing up on the intent of the Second Amendment. So if you say, you know, you can't shoot your AR-15 more than two rounds a second or four rounds a second or, you know, 10 rounds a minute. Is that the, is that the place of the federal government? Is that how we want legislators to regulate and limit and restrict um, the God-given rights that the Second Amendment is here to protect? Um, so to me, you know, I think uh, something was telling. I, I, I mentioned earlier to some people I was talking to that this is a slippery slope. And it's ironic that I, I heard that on the news this evening where Nancy Pelosi is actually quoted as saying, I heard this is a slippery slope. And what Nancy Pelosi elaborated on with that statement was, is she was happy it was slippery slope and that it would lead to more regulations because they have a whole bunch more regulations that they want to enact. So I don't think it's any secret that Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer um, want to uh, make guns as difficult and complicated to acquire as uh, they possibly can. I mean, we've seen that kind of legislation coming from the areas where their congressmen um, already and senators, New York with the SAFE Act and, and uh, California with some of the most um, uh, restrictive gun laws in the United States, both of them. So it, it just stands to reason that the two of them have teamed up for some of the most restrictive gun legislation ever to come out of Congress or in support of. Um, I should say. 
So anyway, back to how you use a bump fire stock, right? So, you know, there's videos out there of uh, shooting your semi-automatic rifle or any weapon, really, any semi-automatic weapon, by sticking something into the trigger trigger guard. And let me let me show you that real quick. Okay. So let me show you real quick. So a bump fire stock, all it does is it takes this piece of the of the rifle and it takes out any locking mechanism for the stock portion on the buffer tube so this thing slides back and forth right so really now what they're saying is is the stock has to be affixed in some capacity the other part of that is is this plastic piece now comes down and attaches to the grip so when you hold on to the grip the grip the whole thing is sliding you know the stock the grip everything is sliding all people are doing let me just show you real quick this is clear all people are doing is the plastic piece comes over here they're simply putting their fingers onto this plastic piece that comes over they're putting their trigger fingers through and they're resting it on this plastic piece so that when they slide the stock back it depresses the trigger okay so then what happens is as they're pushing it forward now they're pushing the upper this piece here the upper uh, receiver as they're pushing that forward it's continuously pushing back with every shot so all you have to do to get the bump fire action to work is to keep pushing forward with your your non-dominant hand so you keep pushing forward against your finger and it bangs every time so really all they're doing now you know the whole intent of this is to legislate a piece of plastic going through the trigger guard or a piece of plastic rather sitting next to the trigger guard you can do that with your pant leg or your uh, belt loops on your pants you can do that with your pants pocket you can do that with a a stick you can do that with a dowel so what are they really trying to ban are they trying to ban your ability to put your finger through and rest it on something so that as the slide goes back and forth it hits your finger is that what they want to ban because you can do that with all kinds of things it doesn't have to be a piece of plastic it can be a piece of wood it can be your finger on your belt so really now what are they banning are they banning the are they banning the ability for you to pull the trigger more than once at it i mean more than you know fire a cart are they banning trying to fire a cartridge more than a certain amount in a, in a certain period of time you understand the question it's a complex question it's a very confusing question but the the liberals in the congress and the you know house and senate think that they can come in and pass a law that's going to make that illegal this bump fire stock is now going to be illegal okay fine nobody really cares it wasn't around 10 years ago and that's wayne lapierre's position was it wasn't around 10 years ago who cares if it's if it gets you know regulated even further but are you going to ban what the bump fire stock does i don't care about the the brand bump fire or slide fire or bump ski or whatever these products are it's the intent of what these devices do that I'm concerned that they're going to try to ban. So that's why I say we should fight this. We should push our legislatures, legislators to not support this, especially mine in Texas. Um, you know, I'll be letting them know. I think we need to keep pressure on the NRA to continue to fight this. Um, I don't think that we give the liberal Democrats an inch. I think we continue to point out how absurd this whole concept is, and we make them earn and fight for every ounce of everything that they get from us. I think this is our, our right. It's a constitutionally protected right. It means that the government didn't give us this right. It means that this is a right that we were born with that you get just because you're an american citizen and all this right does is it protects us from the government it protects the government or it protects the individual from the government that would infringe upon that right um so you know lastly i'll just leave it at this 
question the motives of the people who want to infringe on your rights. Do those people live under the same rules and regulations and laws that you and I live under? Do they have access to 24-hour armed guards? Or are, are they living in densely populated urban centers? Are they living in suburbs, in gated communities with armed guards? Every time they go out, do they have you know, Secret Service protection? What are their motivations? What gives them the power or what gives them the position that they feel that it's okay to infringe on everybody else's rights, but not mine? I come from a military background. I did 12 years in the military and leaders lead by example. Leaders don't say, you know, do as I say, not as I do. It's this is what I do. I'm going to show you how it's done. But ours don't. Our, our congressmen and our senators will get in front of a camera and talk about, you know, how it's for the children and it's for the babies and and um, you know if we could just save one life, then then it's worth it. Um, you know, I think that's that's crap. Uh, I did another video. It's. Um, about twice as long as this one, where I break down all of that. You know, I break down a lot of different aspects of gun control in relation to Las Vegas, and, and I talk about a lot of things that could have been done differently. Not one law that was passed would have saved a single person's life. The only way you're gonna save lives, the true intent of these liberal congressmen and women to try to save these people's lives is to remove all guns from society. They want to remove your gun, they want to remove my gun, they want to remove everybody's gun. They don't want to remove their own guns though. So question their motives, question everything they do and fight to the very end. This is not something that we need to give up on. Um, anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you have any comments, you think I'm full of crap, put it in the comment section below. You know, I enjoy, you know, learning from all of you guys. Um, you know, the dialogue I think is important. If, if you're not sure on something that I've said or you have questions about it, please throw that in the comments. You want to message me, go ahead. Um, subscribe if you haven't and uh, you know share it with your friends you know let's get this message out I think we need to preserve our Second Amendment with every ounce of our being and don't give anything so anyway thanks a lot guys have a good night bye